It is an eerie image, New York's famous skyline barely visible through a thick blanket of smoke. This was mid-afternoon yesterday, but it looked more like dusk. In Times Square, skyscrapers seemingly shrank as their tops disappeared from view. And this hazy half-light and acrid air is currently hanging over much of northeastern America. Millions have been warned to avoid exercise and to stay indoors. The levels that people, if they were to be outside, especially if they're exercising, breathing faster, um, they're going to be inhaling particulates at concentrations that normal smokers would inhale. The smoke is coming from Canada, where huge swathes of land are on fire. In Quebec alone, north of New York, more than 100 fires are considered out of control. The plumes of smoke blowing south are even visible from space. The country's used to wildfires, but nothing like this. A long period of warm, dry weather has brought with it apocalyptic visions. An area roughly the size of Belgium has already been burned. Experts say this is climate change in action and that conditions will only get worse. One of the big concerns is that we're about to experience an unhelpful natural cycle at the beginning of what is called El Nino, and that makes conditions around the world even hotter. It's like a supercharging that will interact with the existing climate change that humans have caused. Uh, and so we're probably going to see even worse conditions as we head into next year. It's meant thousands of people have been forced from their homes and some villages abandoned to the elements. A threat to life there, while further afield, a threat to health. And with no rain expected soon, the smoke and the dangers are likely to persist. Ivor Bennett, Sky News.